Here is the Yamaha MG10XU mixer. I use it for live performance, but what I want to show you today is some of the GarageBand setup secrets. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit and I want to start with our output. A couple things you will notice. There's a button on here that says to monitor and to stereo. <clears throat> I've got that pressed in right now so it's going to stereo. If you go up here to the top of that row we see another little button. This is line in for it would be out. <clears throat> That's for a live performance if I'm using the mixer to a, a loudspeaker. <clears throat> but <clears throat> to do this video in GarageBand I actually want to use the mixer, this mixer, as input to my computer. So I've got USB pressed in. This is taking the place of a sound card. To get started, I wanted to show you that after you plug the mixer into your computer, you'll also want to check your settings. And what we see here is our output device is the MGXU. So we'll take a look at that, as well as the input device, and that's what we'll cover in this video. Now we're listening to output from GarageBand through my stereo monitors. The level on the mixer, as you can see, is down pretty low. We just turn it up a little bit and it gets quite loud. So that shows you the power of this mixer. You'll also notice I've got a mic plugged in for a later part of this demo, but please uh, understand the level is all the way off as is the gain. And the reason for that is, if I turned this on while I was trying to use my loudspeakers, we'd get a horrible sound of feedback. So for now, using the output function and playing music back, I have that turned all the way down. Now I'd like to show you the input setup. Again, I'm using my Yamaha MG10XU as an input to my computer through USB. So I have actually turned the output completely down and this switch, I have two, it says to monitor and I actually have that in the out position. I have some headphones attached and that's what I'm listening to the signal. I'm listening to that uh, uh, as I speak into the microphone, it's coming through the headphones. So we've adjusted that. Now over to the input, what it looks like. I've got the peak up almost to that little white arrow. Not quite, didn't need to go that high. And then I've also adjusted the gain. The gain is up about so high, uh, not quite, maybe 11 o'clock. And one other thing to show you is this red phantom light. You'll notice that button is pressed in because the microphone, the microphone I'm using is a phantom powered mic. So those are our settings on the mixer. You've got the level about there. You could turn that up if you want, but beware. If you do, you'll probably want to turn your gain down. Next, I'll show you in GarageBand how this input looks. I want to show you the mixer setting. Very important here when you are recording. Uh, because the mixer is input to GarageBand, we want to make sure, remember we address this button to monitor and to stereo. And we said we'll use our headphones for our monitor. But what I want to draw your attention to is you want to make sure this level is adequately adjusted to be able to pick up the signal in the GarageBand software. 
and I'll show you now what that looks like in GarageBand. So now I uh, just wanted to draw your attention on the screen. We have the MG10 XU input signal. So some interesting things on the mixer. I have the output, the USB in, this is level 9 and 10. I have that about halfway up and that's because the signal is traveling out into GarageBand. Over on the um, first channel where the microphone is plugged in, I have the level up all the way to the little arrow and I have the gain about halfway up and that shows up as this green um, in the green here on the screen. The next thing we'll do with our input signal here in green is I'll go ahead and do some recording and we're recording, we're talking, the waves show up there indicating that the sound is being recorded. That's our input on the MG10XU.